Yo, my boy Ishigami about to get his heart crushed by the Subame chick. I'm already calling it. Hey guys, what's good? How we doing today? It's your boy Ven. Welcome back to another video. If you're watching this right now, that means you clicked on today's video. So you are a beast. I love you. All right, so in our previous reaction to Kaguya Love is War, it was a pretty good episode. Seems like we're starting like a small cultural festival arc and uh, Ishigami and Ino had to join like the, the student group that's in charge of it. Subame is like one of the leaders of this group. So I don't know, maybe Ishigami will slide on in there. But let's be real. We all know he's gonna end up with Eno. I mean, let's be real. And uh, Shiro, we learned that Shirogani sucks at blowing up balloon animals. Seems like this guy sucks at anything that is not studying. But anyways, before we get to today's reaction, if you guys want to show me some support, be sure to hit that like button. And if you have not done so yet, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for post notifications so you don't miss another one of my videos. All right, guys. So with all that out of the way, let's get to today's reaction. All right. Starting in Shirogani's house. Okay, I wish we see her more in the show. We don't see her enough. Okay, Shirogani wants to show off. All right, so we're getting a part of this episode focused on her, lit. <laughs> she says, you're not coming in that outfit, are you? <laughs> I'm not taking you unless you dress cool. I wonder what Shirogani's version of cool is going to be. She knew from years of, of experience what kind of person her brother was. Yeah, she knows this guy ain't got any drip. Oh my God, look at him. Look at him. Yo, that outfit's actually kind of drippy though, low key. <laughs> I'm going to spike up my hair. Yo, let's do it. Get that drip going, dog. The skull with the wings. It's like a, it's like a biker gang shirt. <laughs> Bro, his sister is losing her mind over his outfit. She's giving him a fanny pack. Yo, Loki, fanny packs are drippy. And she kicks him. Wait, what? Oh, she wants him to wear it over his shoulder instead of the fanny pack. Yo, why are we getting the undershot of his sister's ass right there? Oh, God, the dad just got home. Oh, my. Yo, look at him. Look at him. Yo, his dad has the drip. He's got the over shirt or jacket, the white undershirt, and then the fanny pack over the shoulder. Yo, Shiragani takes some notes. This is what I get for scrimping for my family and making to do with secondhand clothes. <laughs> He's trying to make her feel bad. Damn, he cuts back on his own clothing expenses so that Kay can have more money to buy clothes. That's actually very wholesome. Oh, his dad, the most expensive and stylish watch out of all of his belongings, a moon watch. Yo, Mr. Shirogani, he managed to buy it after saving up for three years. He grinded for that watch. This is the one thing he couldn't part with after he had to sell all of his belongings. <laughs> Yo, she's got the bills. Wow. All right. All right. So he's going clothes shopping with Kai or Kay. I mean, it's not Kaguya, but at least he's going clothes shopping. Ah, look at him. He looks good. Blue over jacket with the blue fanny pack. Yo, the girls behind her are blushing at him. Wow, he's so cool. <laughs> yeah, it's all things to her, though. Look at her. She's blushing. She's happy he showed up and that he actually looks cool. President Shirogani is so cool. <laughs> About Kaguya Shinomiya Part 2. When did we get a part one for this? Burn a youth's heart and the flowers stir the ashes into a juice. Whoa, what is this story? Oh, God. This is going to make... Yep, Kage is immediately going to want this heart-shaped necklace when she said that. My big brother got one along with a confession of love, too, and he just married that girl. Oh, yep, Kaguya is a hundred. <laughs> She's even imagining her and Shirogane getting married. Oh, she got one of the samples. Let's go. Make your move, Kaguya. It's your time. Whoa, she's suddenly in an auditorium. What is going on? You want to cultivate eternal love between us? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> she overthinks this shit so much. If I can slice some apples or strawberries just right, I can make them heart-shaped. Yeah, then I'll use them as filling for a pie. <laughs> Dude. They look like bro- Dude, <laughs> I am so done. He cuts the pie and now she's saying it looks like broken hearts. Yeah, I'm wondering the same thing, girl. Yeah, what are you so afraid of? When did I become such a coward? Man, she is she is going crazy over this. Damn, he's got mega bags under his eyes. They drew they drew that extra purple. Oh, and he's doing all this extra work so people can enjoy the festival who worked hard for it. Oh, and look, she she's falling for him even harder now, and she's holding the heart locket. Give it to him. I'd like to take a step forward to the next level. I, I All of us want you to take that step. Oh, she was up front. I do like him. That's like one of the first times she was just up front about it. Let's go. 
Finally, we are getting some. She says, I like Miyuki Shirogani. Bro, finally. Yeah, even Hayasaka's like, bro, wait, did you just say that? Admitting those feelings out loud has wounded Kaguya's pride. Even so, along with a faint sense of defeat, she also feels the relief of having a heavy load lifted off her shoulders. Yeah, for real. Finally. I'm actually like flabbergasted she said that for hayasaka this was the biggest news of the year <laughs> you know maybe kaguya will legit confess to him at the festival if that happens during the season i will be so happy i wonder what will happen if i tell you how i feel about you i mean he'll say yes obviously what is this mock confession we're looking at <laughs> she's just imagining how embarrassing it would be to get rejected but she know come on there's no way she would get rejected Whoa, 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 wait, what? She's dating that guy? What the hell? We started talking here and there while getting ready for the festival and I don't know, it just happened. Are you, cr bro, this chick? <laughs> oh no, this is, oh, please tell me this is gonna give Kaguya some strength to confess during the cultural festival. Yeah, wait, she says, at this time of year, if the, per if the other person is single, it gives you a 60% success rate when you confess. <laughs> Kaguya, so no! <laughs> oh no, is Ishi is this when Ishigami is gonna confess to Subame? Oh no, and now now he just got confirmation that the squad leader is dating the other chick, not Subame. So that means Subame is single. Ah, oh, Ishigami's hyped, bro. <laughs> He's ready to go to battle, bro. This is my chance. Wait, wait, that immediate cut. Wait, he was screaming in the hallway. Wait, where is this wind coming from? <laughs> I'm out of time. I can't afford to let this chance slip through my fingers. Yeah, bro. Go make a move now. Go get rejected so you can be with Eno. <laughs> Let's go confess to her right away. I think Kage is just doing this so it, may it maybe gives her some motivation. Oh, Ishigami's gonna ask her to go to the cultural festival with him. I wonder if she'll say yes. If Shinomiya doesn't confess me first, oh, then I'll do it. So both Kaguya and Shirogane are planning to confess during this festival. Start to this! All right, festival starting. Although I know they're about to hit us with the end of the episode. The cultural festival and dual confessions arc has begun. Dual confessions arc. So that means Ishigami confession and then Kaguya slash Shirogane confession, right? Dude, finally, we're getting some progress here. All right, so yo, this episode finally gave me what I've been wanting. So it's continuing with the cultural festival arc. It said it officially, the arc officially begun uh, during this episode. Agio was really like the main focus of today's episode. She finally admitted to Hayasaka. She said it out loud that she likes Miyuki Shirogani. She said his full name. So that's how you know this is serious. So it seems like she is finally like finally gung-ho about going to confess to him now i don't know if she's actually gonna have the balls when the moment comes i really hope she does hirogani is also like gung-ho set on um confessing to kaguya if she doesn't confess to him so i mean we should end this arc in a confession <laughs> and they're calling it like the dual confession arc because ishigami is also going to confess to subame even though i really think she's gonna shut him down because honestly they've been throwing these small subtle hints that him and Eno might like be a thing. Whenever they talk about each other, like when they're not facing each other, like they're always kind of sincere about the other person. So I don't know. I can I could totally see him and Eno getting together. Super May just seems too too perfect. The beginning of the episode was also pretty wholesome. We finally got more of Shirogani's little sister Kai or K. I I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it. She basically was shitting on him, saying his fashion sense is terrible. So uh, she gets him some clothes so he could go visit her at her school festival and all of her her uh, girlfriends were like gushing over Shirogani. So that was pretty cool. But yeah, honestly, they're building this confession up. I hope, I hope it happens during this season. I mean, we're already on episode eight. I don't know how many episodes season three is going to be, maybe like 12 or 13. But man, like I, if they end the season on a cliffhanger with them confessing, I'm legit going to be annoyed. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, remember, if you enjoyed today's reaction, hit that like button. If you have not done so yet, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for post notifications so you don't miss another one of my videos. As always, hope you guys have a dope rest of your day. Remember, stay blessed, not stressed out there. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.